dropouse.com. Hey guys, what's up? It's Tony back in the vocal booth. I hope this video finds you safe, uh, healthy, and uh, of relatively sound mind, uh, considering all the craziness that we're going to through under, uh, you know, being quarantined for COVID-19 in case future self sees this, some crazy shit happening, right? I have been spending a lot of time here in the vocal booth and in my studio doing a lot of uh, projects. Thankfully, I'm very thankful for that. But also, uh, I've been in the process of updating a lot of my demos and and uh, just kind of like stretching my own creative boundaries and, and, you know, exploring avenues that I sometimes don't have the time or the uh, will to explore. And that's what this video is about. I wanted to bring something to you. Uh, I've been getting into the world of audiobooks uh, for some time now, and I've been recording some audiobook demos now available for your audiobook. If you'd like to contact me, I'd be happy to talk to you about that. I wanted to record this one uh, particular part of a book that I read several years ago. It's an easy read, by the way. So if you do kind of get turned on to it, uh, it's it's pretty cool. It's kind of inspiring. Um, it's ass kicking. I wanted to bring it to you because it might be useful to you. So especially if you are a freelancer, an entrepreneur, or solopreneur, or whatever you want to call yourself, sometimes we can get inside our own heads, especially when we're given a little bit too much time to think. And that could be a good thing, but it can also be kind of a crazy thing. So when I did record this passage, I thought I would share it with you because it might actually help you kind of refocus a little bit, especially if you've been spending just a little bit too much time in your pajamas, uh, maybe not showering and watching Netflix during the day when you really should be kicking your own ass, figuring out what's next for your business, figuring out what tomorrow is going to bring as we ease out of this craziness that we're going through, or maybe just learning something new that you have thought about doing, um, but haven't had the will, the mindset, or you're scared. And that's totally understandable. So with that, I'm going to share a piece of Austin Kleon's Steal Like an Artist. It's a book I've quoted before, but uh, I thought this passage might be actually pretty cool for you to hear. If I'd waited to know who I was or what I was about before I started being creative, well, I'd still be sitting around trying to figure myself out instead of making things. In my experience, it's in the act of making things and doing our work that we figure out who we are. You're ready. Start making stuff. You might be scared to start. That's natural. There's this very real thing that runs rampant in educated people. It's called imposter syndrome. The clinical definition is a, quote, psychological phenomenon in which people are unable to internalize their accomplishments, unquote. It means that you feel like a phony, like you're just winging it, that you really have no idea what you're doing. Guess what? None of us do. Ask anybody doing truly creative work and they'll tell you the truth. They don't know where the good stuff comes from. They just show up and do their thing every day. Have you ever heard of dramaturgy? It's a fancy term for something William Shakespeare spelled out in his play, As You Like It, about 400 years ago. All the world is a stage, and all the men and women merely players. And they have their exits, and they have their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts. Another way to say this? Fake it till you make it. I love this phrase. There are two ways to read it. One, pretend to be something you're not until you are. Fake it until you're successful. Until everybody sees you the way you want them to. Or, two, pretend to be making something until you actually make something. I love both these readings. You have to dress for the job you want, not the job you have, and you have to start doing the work you want to be doing. I also love the book Just Kids by the musician Patti Smith. It's a story about two friends who wanted to be artists, so they moved to New York. You know how they learned to be artists? Quote, you start out as a phony and become real. Unquote. Glenn O'Brien. They pretend to be artists. In my favorite scene from which the book gets its title, Patti Smith and her friend, the photographer, Robert Mapplethorne, dress up in all their bohemian gypsy gear and go to Washington Square Park, where everybody's hanging out. This old touristy couple is gawking at them. The wife says to her husband, Oh, take their picture. I think they're artists. Oh, go on. The husband disagrees. They're just kids. The point is, all the world's a stage. Creative work is a kind of theater. The stage is your studio, your desk, or your workstation. The costume is your outfit. 
your painting pants, your business suit, or that funny hat that helps you think. The props are your materials, your tools, and your medium. The script is just plain old time. An hour here or an hour there, just time measured out for things to happen. Fake it till you make it. Go make something.